Welcome to Benjamin TV. Today I'm bringing you my mushroom pasta recipe. A lot of you asked for it on Instagram, so we'll go ahead and jump right into the ingredients. First off, you're gonna start with some kind of pasta. I love spaghetti. Uh, next, obviously, mushroom. Now go ahead and roughly chop those mushrooms. I'm using shiitake and oyster today. Uh, next, we've got some kind of meat. Now ham is what I'm using today. You can use chicken, you can use bacon. Try not to put too much meat because you really want the mushrooms to come out. Next is some onions. Go ahead and slice those up. I've got some fresh parsley from the garden. Roughly chop those as well. Now we get into our aromatics. We've got garlic here. Go ahead and mince that up. I'm using a garlic mincer for that. Uh, we've got some Parmesan as well as we've got some other flavors. Crushed red pepper as well as some soy sauce and I know soy sauce is kind of weird but it's great when you're cooking with mushrooms brings out all those flavors lastly we've got of course some good old olive oil as well as salt and pepper all right there you go those are the ingredients get right into cooking first thing you want to do is make sure your water is boiling it needs to be at a rolling boil next you want to have a pan here this is just a 12 inch non-stick pan you can use a cast iron pan if you want or even stainless steel I just been loving using a non-stick especially when you cook with mushrooms what you're gonna first want to do is cook the mushrooms on a dry skillet so what you do is put it on a medium heat make sure your pan gets nice and warmed up throw your mushrooms in there on the dry heat and let that simmer for about three to five minutes. By the time your mushrooms have sweated and begun to brown, you can go ahead and add your pasta to the boiling pot. At this point, go ahead and scoot your mushrooms to the side, add your olive oil and turn the heat up to high. Then you're gonna add your onions, ham, garlic, and your crushed red pepper and stir fry everything for about two to four minutes depending on how long you need to cook your meat. During this process you can go ahead and add your soy sauce just to bring out the flavors of the mushrooms but this is totally optional. Make sure to add salt and pepper as needed. If your pasta is done at this time you can go ahead and add your pasta to the high heat pan and continue stirring. Use a little bit of that pasta water to enhance all the juiciness of this pasta dish. Right as your pasta is finishing go ahead and add your parsley and go ahead and plate it. Shave on some parmesan cheese and you're ready to grub. Woo! Mushroom lovers. This is a pasta dish for you. Don't skip out on that soy sauce and dry heat your mushrooms at first. Trust me, it's totally worth it. Let me go ahead and try this. Mmm. Mmm. The smokiness gets brought out of the mushrooms from the soy sauce and that dry roasting or that dry pan frying really just gives it a kick of flavor. So. There you go, mushroom pasta dish. You guys ask for it on Instagram, right here, or Snapchat, go follow me there. Um, please subscribe to my channel for more food dishes. Comment below on other ideas for recipes that you might want. And uh, yeah, like this uh, video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this.